Hello everybody, Targal here, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Space Engineers Let's Play series. Last time we got the basics done. We built this little platform, we got a reactor, we got a cargo box, we got our medical room, an oxygen generator, a refinery, and an assembler. So we got all the important things out of that ship rebuilt over here. And between episodes, I was busy taking apart as much as I wanted to from the ship for now. Everything is gutted out of the ship. The only thing that is left is the steel box. Um, all the conveyors, all the machines, all the reactors. I think I got all the reactors. I've been playing a lot of multiplayer in this game and I've learned a lot from it. Which I think is going to be very helpful in the series. Um, but let me just double check if I did get all the dead generators gone. Reactor. Um, This one is gone. I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, let me get through here. And... Yeah, I got them all. Okay. I wasn't sure. I don't know why. Um, but anyways, everything is gone and everything is over at our station. And the first thing I would like to get started with today is... Um, I would like to connect this oxygen generator to this medical room, okay? You guys look on the bottom left. You see uh, energy, oxygen, and hydrogen, right? And when I push the button F, all it does is fill my energy. Because, if you guys remember, I explained that anything that is touching the station, or if it's a ship, the same way, shares energy. But the rest, you need to set up a conveyor system. So that's what we're going to get started with here real quick first. And that way I have access to the oxygen and the hydrogen in that med station. So let's go over here, conveyors. I need these two right there. That's all I need right now. So it's probably not going to let me place it. Yeah, I need some steel tubes and stuff. What else? Motor, construction components, and small tube. All right, so let's get 100 of these. 100 of these. Um, where's my steel plates? I got lots of stuff, so it's no problem. And also 100 construction components. Here we go. When you shift left click, you take a 100, in case you didn't know. So there's one. And then we got to turn that. In case you guys are wondering, you turn with the... Um, insert, delete, home end, page up, page down. And I'm going to let you guys figure out. It's going to take you probably a little bit to figure out on how to turn this stuff. Everyone is a different axis. And it's still, honestly, for me, a lot of guessing. <laughs> honestly. But I always get it done, so it's okay. And let's weld these up real quick. And you see that's red right now. That means it's not connected. And that's why it's not going. And you also get that... Wow. More construction components... Um, you also get that for when you um, don't have power. So if you ever built something new and it's red, then it just means, hey, you got to give me power first. And now it's going to turn green. There we go. Or yellow. Whatever that is. Now check it out. When we come down here, and now I press F, you're going to see everything goes up. Oxygen and hydrogen. So I don't need to take the bottles out of this anymore. I can just let them sit in there. So that is really cool. Now we got this done. The other thing I want to do is I really would like to place these two differently. Um, you guys told me that I didn't know that until you mentioned it in the comments is that these little ones here are for upgrades and only the big ones are actually connections. They're part of the conveyor system. Um, ooh, I gotta take this out first. We don't have much yet, but I'm gonna make sure it doesn't float away. Let's take this one apart real quick and also the refinery. All right, just finishing welding up this assembler. I moved them to the other side next to the cargo box. And you guys are going to see why I did that. There is something called an inventory sorter. I think that's what it's... No, not inventory sorter. Sorting conveyor. Oh, dear. Conveyor sorter. Which we're going to make a lot of use of in the future. But I wanted to set this up in a more of... Um, independent system okay now i hope that i can show you guys what i mean by that and that is this doesn't have an input in the back no only in the top so we're gonna move that actually we don't need that if i am not mistaken now i think this this is all we need right now and i'm gonna try to demonstrate this here in a second let me just weld these two up real quick now what? Oh. 
Now, all these machines have a setting called use conveyor system. Okay? And what that means is, I don't have any ore on me. Um, right? No, I only have ingots. All right. But let me just show you guys this. Let me put in 100 iron here. If I go to the assembler and say, make me a steel plate. I just, uh, just click once. Ah, sorry. I have to go to production. What am I talking about here? I'm going to make a steel plate. Hmm. See, it automatically made it. Why it made that is because it found the iron in the small cargo container, which is connected right here. And it automatically pulled out what it needed and made it. And now it's sitting in here and I can take it out or do whatever I want, put it back in the small cargo container. Now, I don't have my... Yeah, I do have my drill. I don't have it on the bar because I don't like drilling in this game. But let's go right here and take it. And I can probably demonstrate to you guys why I don't like mining in this game by hand. Because you break something. Oh, that was a horrible example. <laughs> um... But anyway, you see how stuff pops away and then you need to hunt it down and so on. So you would need to make big holes and whatnot. Um, or you can just hold down F. A lot of times this works. That it... Um, oh, see, this one is hard to get. That you pick it up before it even renders. So you guys see this? Hold down F. Uh, this one didn't work. But anyway, I, I find it a huge pain in the butt. It's doable. You can mine by hand, but it's it's not what you want to do in this game. I really don't think so. On planets, it's a little bit different, but now check it out what happens when I put the stone in here. And it should disappear. It went. It disappeared because the refinery said, hey, there is stone. I can process stone, and it automatically pulled it in. So this is a very basic automation so when i come back from mining i can just toss all the ore in here and then the ore uh, the ingots that it makes are gonna stay in here or the gravel or whatever right um and i'm gonna put the rest of the stuff in here and then we're gonna try out one more thing let me get this and you guys see i can access everything because it's every one of these inventories because they're all connected with the conveyor tubes so that is really handy but now i wanted to test one more thing here production Assembling. What? Oh, it just shows red because it doesn't have anything in the inventory. But let's make another steel plate. Yes. So it can also pull out from the refinery, which holds all my ingots, right? I, I think this is really cool. And then again, I can just drag this down here. And it's now on top of the stack. So that is that. Now, next thing I want to do is, of course, build a ship to go mining. For, uh, not for us, but with us. A ship that we can take out mining. But uh, I hope I explained this well enough. Um, we're going to have much more complicated systems in the future. But the conveyor system was one of the things that took me the longest to wrap my head around. Okay, And also, by the way, if you go into the settings here. And I uncheck this now. Use conveyor system. And I go to production. And I queue up a steel tube. It's not going to make it. Because it will not look for those components in other places. Okay, that also has its purpose. Right click, you stop the crafting. And now turn it on. And let's make it one more time. And you guys see, boom, it pulled it out. So, spend enough time on this. Let's build a ship, guys. That's really important that we need to get this going. And I still don't have any mods installed. Don't forget that. Because I want to make the first ship with just the basic um, vanilla components... And I'm probably going to need some of this, some of this. I'm just... No, we don't need solar cells. We'll get to solar another day. We need thruster components. I don't know if I need that. That. I... And lots of interior plates. Well, I don't need the gun. Okay. I think... Take a few more of these. <laughs> uh, it's always like, all right, how much stuff should I take? I don't know. Just take it all. So, small ship. Right down here, bottom right, new small ship. That's how you start it. And we're just going to put that over here. I do like to when you... Um, right here with the page down and delete, you can rotate this. And we're just going to rotate it right here and put it on the edge. And it automatically is green. We just have to weld it up. Uh, large steel tube. Alright. Do I have any of those? Yes, I do. And I'm full, I guess. Yeah, oh wow, I'm full of weight, okay. Alright, let's weld this up, and you guys see it's green. So that means it's going to be connected to the base, it's docked. 
And what that means is that our ship will not um, drift away when we bump into it or whatever. And energy takes a second to fill up. The other things is always instant. Oh, and by the way, in case you don't have a way to make a conveyor system and your hydrogen goes low, um, you need to craft yourself a... Uh, I'm sorry, it's not in here. It's in the assembler. Let's go into the assembler production tools. It's right here. You make a hydrogen bottle. Well, let's just make one. Okay. It's kind of cool seeing this all get pulled in. I really like that. Where is the assembler? Right here. And it only takes as much as you need. What's happening? Why, why can't I take you out? What? It's connected to the assembler. Am I? Oh, because I'm full. Ah, man. Let me leave 200 of these. I'm sorry about that. Now we can take it out. And then you can put this into the oxygen generator. And you guys see it fills. And then when you put that in your inventory, just like with the oxygen, you will automatically refill your hydrogen when you are low. And it's always good to have a few of these bottles anyway. So let's get busy over here, guys. There is no real, um, you know, set way. This is how you need to do it. I've built a couple of these ships. And I'm just going to build something that is functional. It's not going to be pretty. But it's going to be able to mine for us. Um, and that's that's really the biggest thing, right? And we need a regular cockpit that I can't find for some reason. Why not? There's the fighter cockpit. All right. Yo. There we go. There it is. And we're going to put that right there. And we're going to hook that one out also. Now... I'm not even going to put conveyors on here. Nothing, guys. Um, I know that there's lots of different ways and, and we are going to make a really cool mining ship um, very soon. But I just want to save materials as much as I can. And each one of these um, drills has a very large inventory every one of the drills that we are mounting of this vanilla version right here these guys right here holds as much as a medium cargo box okay it's they're really big but I cannot get this further forward now we could just put it here only make a should we just do a single one i think so but right now, we're just going to make it the most basic ship there is. All right, let's just do that. Let's just make one. And you guys see that there's a little conveyor connector right here to the drill. And that means that we're actually going to even have access to that from inside the cockpit. Okay, so I could take things out like stone or whatever. But you can also, you see that has 337,500 liters of inventory. And the cockpit has another 100,000. That's a lot of mining right there um, you can do. All right. So now, of course, we're going to need a reactor. A small one. And I would like to put that on top right here. So I have access to it. Okay. Um, because well, we're going to have to put fuel in this. Uh, otherwise, we, we can't get it going. And that's a problem with these. They only have two connectors. You're always going to have to have one because the first fuel you have to put in by hand. Otherwise, you can't start it and then the conveyor system of the ship doesn't work. Okay? So we got this. What else do we need now? We need a gyroscope. That thing makes your ship turn. Okay? You can move it right up, down, and so on. You don't even need thrusters for that. And we're going to put that... That right there. That's fine. I made a I made a a ship yesterday on the multiplayer server and we're gonna build something similar. I called the meat grinder. It has 20 drills, different drills from a mod. And I accidentally popped out of my ship while drilling. Yeah, and it killed me. <laughs> it ground me up good. That was awesome. Um thrusters. These guys right here, the small ion thrusters. And we're gonna need one in every direction now from this, okay? So I think we're gonna put the 
Uh, let me show you another thing here, by the way. That's I want to get used to showing you from the beginning, and that is the mirror mirror function. Okay, when you press M, uh, sorry, you gotta press what? Why are you no worky? Do can I only do that with a block? What? What? Why can I not turn on the mirror plane? Am I missing something here? Let's check. I've been using this all the time. Why you no worky? Um, right here, symmetry switch. Use symmetry. Wait, does this only work in creative? Because that's where I do most of my shipbuilding. Uh, it must be, guys. I'm not sure. Usually when you hold down M, you see a plane and you can use that. But apparently that only works in creative shipbuilding. Well, never mind then. That stinks, but oh well. So, again, let's put one thruster forward here. One forward here. Then let's put... Um, down. Let's put the up one right there and there and then we can put the down ones right there and there and then of course we need let's put back ones one i'd like to have more in the back so i'm gonna just add three of them it's not gonna be a fast ship but that's fine three backwards and then one to the right. And one to the left. And now we have the most basic ship that you can pretty much make. Okay? Now, the only other thing um, we could add... is Now, we can't because we don't have conveyor system. Is an oxygen generator. So I'm just going to need to bring a few bottles with me and put them in the cockpit, which is no problem. Or keep them on my inventory. So, this is going to take a minute here. But let me weld up all the thrusters real quick. Okay, so while this is now a functional ship and so on, there's two more things I want to add. And one of them is an ore detector. And the other thing is a beacon. reason for the beacon to me is it's so important that because in case you die and your ship is far away, you don't know where your ship is. But with the beacon on, it allows you to find your ship again, you know, which I find quite important. <laughs> So let's put the beacon right there and the ore detector we can put. Why are you so big? What? Okay, I didn't know that they're this big. What? Don't remember it being two blocks, but whatever. Um, then we're actually gonna do it. Eh. I just want it to be a little symmetrical, that's all. Um, so we're going to put the ore detector right there, and we're going to put the beacon. Does it matter which way? No. Right there. It doesn't matter which way you put these. They just work. And the ore detector is only so when you get um, close to minerals, and it goes, it only works within 50 meters. So you got to be really close, but at least it shows you, hey, this is what you're about to mine and so on. So it is helpful. All I need is one ore detector component, which I am sure I don't have. Um, no. All right. So let's go ahead and make one of them. Um, boo -boo. Where are you? What? Wait, was it a detector component or was it actually called an ore detector component? Just a detector component. Okay. Production, gravity, right there. Let's make one of these. And inventory, I can take this and let's finish this up. Um, what is the other thing? Yes, I'm going to have to just empty my inventory now. Let's do that. I have, oh no, one more thing. One more thing. Hmm... I can't put it in. I can put it down here. 
Yes, okay. Let me see if I can get underneath here somewhere. Like right there. Let's get us a spotlight. Sometimes they're handy. i put this anywhere. I can put it against the thruster. See, that's the thing is you cannot just... Oh, we can put one right there. Let's do that. Let's put one right there. Guys, the thrusters destroy your components, okay? So if I put the spotlight right there, the thruster will destroy it. Um, not instantly, but it will take damage and then just boom, it's gone. So always make sure you don't put things in front of your thrusters and especially not yourself. We also take a little bit of damage. But now I really got everything. Now we're out of here. The antenna that you can add, I think, is only to broadcast it to other ships or like your faction in the area. I don't think we need an antenna for anything else. So I'm not going to put one of those. Wait, what's going on? Why is my oxygen not filling? I'm out of ice. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's take this hydrogen. And I'm going to take three of the oxygen bottles with me. Wow, okay, we got we gotta find ice. That's really important now. So let me empty all this stuff here. Shut Hello? Okay, there we go. So now I got everything I need. A little lag spike here. Um and we are gonna take um shift. Uh, no. Just right click drag and I'm gonna take out about five. Okay, that's all we're gonna need. So we, we have lots of uranium. That's that's the good thing is we, we don't have any problem with power, but we really have to find ice. There we go. And it instantly started. And everything's on and it's flashy and so on. But, so first thing we're going to do here is open G. Okay? And then we can put some... Actually, let's go into K mode first. Um, just going to rename them because we placed it twice. And everything is labeled. Yes. All right. So I'm going to mark these two spotlights and name it lights in the group. Then I'm going to take all the thrusters and name it thrusters. Ah, uh, wait a second. I also want to add the gyroscope. And we're actually going to call that propulsion. There we go. And we only have one drill, so that's good enough. Landing gear or detector, everything else doesn't need to be grouped because we only have one of each. Okay, and now we go into G mode. Well, the first thing we want to make sure is that we can drill. Okay, so go weapons and tools. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Right click the drill and I'm going to select toggle block on and off. So I can just turn the drill on and off. The next thing is I'm going to do groups and now the lights group toggle block on and off. And three, I'm going to go thrusters or propulsion toggle block on and off. And then I'm going to, again, all blocks, go to my reactor, toggle block on and off. And last but not least, landing gear, that I'm going to switch lock. Okay, so now we have everything down here. And we can go into third person. And now you guys see, if I'm... If I, if I want to save power, but I don't want to turn off the ship so the conveyors keep going and so on, I can just press 3. Turn off the thrusters and so on. But uh, let's get going. So I pressed um, the unlock number 5. You guys see the landing gear turned yellow. And now we can take off. And I'm also turning off the lights because, well, there's nothing to light up. And guys, we got our ship. A very basic mining ship that's going to come in very handy. And hold down left alt, by the way. You can turn your camera. And you can still, when you go now, you can still turn the ship. I really like this feature. You want to center your camera back, B to first person, and then back into third person. So it's centered. You guys see, we have iron right there because we got the ore detector on. But I don't like to drill in my own meteorite uh, right off the bat. So why don't we go over to this one right here. Uh, and don't worry about the power usage overload. It doesn't really matter, okay? As long as you are going. Now, see this? I'm going pretty high speed. Okay, and when I'm at the highest speed, what you can do, there's two ways. Either press Z like Zulu to turn your inertia dampers off, okay? And now you're going at that speed because nothing will go against it. But I also want to save power during that time, so I'm turning off my thrusters completely. 
and I can have the inertia dampeners on. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, and now when I get close to this rock, I'm going to turn my thrusters on again, and that's going to slow me down. But you see, right now, this way, I could go for 54 days. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, so... You want to make sure that especially when you do a lot of mining, guys, when you start getting full, on the right-hand side, you see the mass. Right now, the ship only with 3,700 kilograms. But when we start picking up ore and we get really full, you slow down very, very slowly, okay? It's hard, you see, even now, empty. So you got to be careful, guys, because if you fly the ship into an asteroid or your base, eh, you're going to destroy a lot of stuff and probably die. I, I see some... This is probably uranium over here because this is dark. Maybe? Like, again, you have to get within 50 meters. It's magnesium, okay? I'm really... Right now, what I want to find first is ice. There's iron, so that's good. This is a good rock right here. Um, see, there's all the exposed iron right there. This is a nice, 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 nice. I don't see any ice. All right, well, I'm just going to have to explore a few more um, asteroids. That's no problem. Right now, I can be out a long time with this oxygen, okay? But now let's get to mining. I want to show you guys how to mine. All right, going in here, so I'm going to turn on the lights. Oh, that's ice right there, isn't it? Oh, that's magnesium. Okay. All right, so all we do now is, and it's going to be a little loud probably. Oh, not too bad. All right, and you just get close to the rock and you start drilling. And it sucks it all up for you, so you don't need to, you know, mess around with doing anything by hand and, and trying to figure out where is the rock's exploding to and picking it all up. And when you press tab, the inventory... You see, it's it's filling the drill, and then it's going to put it into the cockpit first. And once this is full, then it's going to keep it in a drill. So I can do a lot of mining here in the beginning. And yeah, right now I'm going to get a bunch of this iron. I don't know, not too much. You really don't need that many materials, guys. Don't go out and fill your entire cargo bay with materials, okay? Because the sooner you get it home, the sooner it's going to start getting processed and so on. And then you can build bigger and bigger mining ships. You know, with this one, it takes a long time. We're, like with the mining ship that I built um, um, in, in creative with all with these 20 drills, I would already have over 100,000 iron. Uh, way over 100,000. See, look at this. I got 33,000 already. That's enough. That's the, all I'm going to take. I don't need more. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this magnesium because we don't really need any in the beginning. But while I'm here, it's good. And because I know there's iron and magnesium here, what I'm going to do is press K, go to GPS, and then say new from current position. And then what I like to do is start them all with A, iron, magnesium. Just like that. So now I have a GPS coordinate to this one. So if I'm out, I, I need to find magnesium. I just look up my map and I'm going to see the, the marker coming to this place. So how much do I have of this now? 4,700. That's all I'm going to need. And, flying back out. I'm going to fly around the rest of this asteroid real quick. Just to see if there's maybe ice. Because, again, you have to get within... Um, this is a really nice asteroid. That's a lot of iron, which is awesome. Because we're going to need a lot. If there's any exposed ice that I can see, it's very light blue, baby blue, shimmering... And so on. And I'm going to continue hunting around um, some of the other asteroids. And you guys see right here. It shows me a iron mag. And where's our base? Oh, I didn't make a... I didn't make a beacon, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No. Oh, it's right there. Guys, before I do anything else, I am flying home right now. <laughs> we have to place a beacon. Alright, back at the base, you guys see over there is that asteroid that I came from. And I don't even need to land the ship, really, but I wanted to show you anyway. I'm just going to park it right over here for now. Um, let me recenter my camera, and then what I like to do is come like from the side like this. And very slowly come down, guys. Um, if you go a little bit too fast, bam, you're going to break something. And then you press 5 to lock it. Now you cannot... What? Oh, wait. 
Now it's locked. Wait, was this set to auto lock? I don't like that. I don't like auto locking. And yeah, yeah, auto lock. I don't like to auto lock um, because sometimes I turn it, just straighten it out and so on. But it's fine. It is locked now. And then you can just press Y, for example. Now you turn the whole ship off. Okay. All right. I'm going to. Oh, gotta put on the jetpack. Um, right here. I can take it out of the drill because... Well, actually, no. Now I need to leave the ship on for a second. I forgot that, but I can turn off the thrusters. Wrong button. Leave that on. Turn off the thrusters so I don't get hurt. But the conveyor system still works. Otherwise, I cannot take this out, right? We don't have any rock, which is fine. Um, because I wouldn't process it anyway. There isn't much use for rock. Um, and I would like to install a mod for the next episode. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to start with the iron. It pulled it out. And it should also pull out the magnesium. They should be both in here. And this guy is going to be busy. Awesome. So, now, instead of placing a beacon, I was just thinking about it. Because beacons take power. And we, we're really not yet in the business of, you know, using a lot of power. What we can also do is just stand here. Press K, go to GPS, and say new from current position, and just call this Red Ship Platform. So I know this is my home place right here, right? And you guys see there is now a little marker right there. Um, what I'm going to do now, again, is between episodes, I'm going to just mine, guys. Um, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to build anything or anything. I'm going to keep this refinery busy. Um, and if I have enough materials, let me see here. I think we should add a second one because they do take forever. I know I can upgrade them and so on, um, but I want to wait to show you guys that. But this is probably going to be done by the time I get back. So that's fine. I don't need a second one yet. Um, but like I said, I need to go out. So let's turn on thrusters again. Unlock the landing gear and we can take off. Um, we got this asteroid. Let's see if I find another one. I kind of want to show you guys what ice looks like. I flew around this one. Uh, our home asteroid here only has ice, it seems. Which one is closer? Is there one closer? This one over here looks pretty good. Let's go the other way and check that one out. All right, I changed direction a little bit. This one looked to be closer. And I also wanted to show you that I put the bottles in here. And this one instantly was trained. But... I'm not sure why it doesn't work. My oxygen is still at, still going down. So I don't know if you can put bottles in here. But it did train this one right away. So I'm just going to put them back in my inventory. That's fine. And this one right here is... Ice. I'm very sure this is ice right there. It's not a lot, but it's ice, so I'm super happy. And we, again, we got tons more iron here, it looks like. These donut-shaped ones are usually... There's another one right over there. I'm probably going to check out before I go back. Are you not going to show me what you are? Does it not show ice? Oh, that's... No, don't tell me. Don't tell me this is platinum. Uh, why are you no diggy diggy? What are you? Ice. Yeah, baby. We got ice. That's so important right now. How much is that here? Already 2,000 something. I uh, know that's stone. 8,000. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a lot of ice because that's just... I feel very, very good when I have a lot of ice in my oxygen generator in the base. And, well guys, I think that is it for today. Um, because now I'm just gonna do a lot of mining. I'm gonna uh, mine a lot of this ice. I'm also gonna get some of this platinum that's right here because that's actually quite rare. Uh, might even grab a little more iron and just fly around to all these different asteroids. And of course, I'm going to set waypoints to every one of them, these GPS coordinates, to make sure that if I need more of that material, that I can find it again, instead of having to guess. Um, and like I said, next time we're going to get started, we're going to add at least one mod that we're going to use to process this stone. Because usually stone just gives you gravel, but there is a cool mod that we found out about that is not overpowered but that, that lets you extract minerals out of stone very little but it's better than nothing because you do um, end up with a lot of stone when you go mining and usually I just dump it 
Okay, in case you guys want to know how to do that, let me show you real quick. Ooh. Space Pirates Raiding Station. Probably want to stay away from that one. <laughs> Is this one coming closer? No, they're getting further away on the left-hand side over there. Alright, but anyway, so inventory. I'm going to keep most of it, but I'm going to just drag away. Let's just take six. And I'm going to take those out. Well, what? Did I take the wrong one? Anyway, you just take D6. You got to put it in your inventory first. And then you can drop it here. Drop item. But let me show you what it looks like. In the third person. Right here. So you drag this right there. Where'd it go? Oh, right there. You see the little pebble right here in front of me? Right there. Where the drill is. <laughs> uh, and the bigger the thing is that you're throwing out, of course, the bigger the item is in on in space then anyway but hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i'm gonna get busy mining and i'll see you in the next one take care stay safe and bye bye